वेलकम इन माय केमिकल एजुकेशन वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द एक्सपेरिमेंटल पार्ट रिलेटेड टू कंडक्टर मीटर देर आर मेनी एप्लीकेशन ऑफ कंडक्टर मीटर दिस इज वन ऑफ द एप्लीकेशन द कंडक्टोमेट्रिक टाइट्रेशन इन दिस एक्सपेरिमेंट वी हैव टू सी द टाइटल ऑफ द एक्सपेरिमेंट to investigate the conductometric titration of strong acid and strong base now this type of titration we can do with the help of indicator indicator shows the change in color after end point and therefore at equivalence point we cannot stop the titration as well as we cannot find out exact equivalence point but with the help of this instrumental method of uh, titration like conductometer we can see what is the exact equivalence point of the titration for this purpose we should know some basic laws related to conductometer that is ohm's law v equal to ir conductance is a reciprocal of resistance and by taking the application we are measuring the resistance between the solution from that we can calculate the conductance and from that we can measure the con uh, conductance and we can measure the calculate the concentration of the solution now this experiment required the nearly about the 0.1 normal hcl solution 0. exact 0.5 normal nh solution and conductometer this is the conductometer with this this is the conductivity cell beaker magnetic needle magnetic stirrer burette beakers then some glasswares now in the first part of the procedure there is a standardization of conductometer now we know that for determine uh, determination or any method we have to standardize the instrument now this conductometer when we have to now turn this knob on the standardization and then we have to see this uh, value before that starting the experiment we have to start the conductometer for 15 minute to get the warm up period for the display card as well as the indicator now here this value is displayed that is 1.001 Into 10 raised to minus 3. That is not on milli. Milli. That is a light glow at M. If light glow here, that is a micro. That is a uh, this value into 10 raised to minus 6. Now this value is given as a 1.001 into 10 raised to minus 3. Then this conductometer is get standardized. If this value is not displayed, this then with the help of this knob. we can adjust this value and after adjustment this value get displayed then the conductometer get standardized this is the first part of the experiment in the second part measurement of conductance for the titration now for this titration we have to take the burette in that burette the 0.5 normal nh solution is filled in the beaker we have to take the 20 ml of given acid plus 30 ml of water and we have to stir with the help of magnetic needle or magnetic stirrer then the knob on the standard it changes to cell that is this conductivity start here and this conductivity cell having the two plates in between that the plates the solution is there and through this solution from one side of the electrode electrons can move from the other side and it conduct the electricity for conduction of electricity we require the ions present in the solution we know that acid present here therefore hydrogen ions are there and therefore we observed that the conductivity is 1 uh, 12.52 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles and this is for uh, zero reading we are not adding any noh and therefore we can write this reading directly in the observation table as for ml of addition of noh 0 ml for this and then we if we see there the readings are uh, we have, we can write in the observation table then after the time interval then we can add the 0.3 ml noh from the burette to this solution and then we have to stir now we have to start here after clicking here then we observe that there is a 0.3 uh, ml of solution get added into the hcl we have to stir it and then after dipping this uh, conduct to the cell we observe that the readings are 11.53 into 10 raised to minus 3 now the readings when 0 ml of addition we observe that 12.52 into 10 to the minus 3 then noh is added the oh and interact with the 
HCl, a uh, hydrogen ion, and then get neutralized. Therefore, hydrogen ion concentration get decreases, and therefore conductivity observed 11.53. As we go on adding the in, uh, uh, by 0.3 addition, that is 0.6 ml. Then after clicking here, 0.6 ml is added, and then after stirring, what happened? We observed that the reading are readings are 10.82 milli uh, uh, millimoles, and therefore 10 raised to minus 3 moles. This is related to this. As we go on adding this by 0.3, 0.3 addition, then it is observed that the conductance uh, con conductance is gone decreases up to certain point. See here, when we are adding this uh, up to the 3.9, then it is observed that the 3.07 into 10 to minus 3 moles. And then when you add the next drop, of NaOH or next, that is a 4.2, 0.3, we are adding again, then it is observed that the conductance is again start to increase, that is 3.16. Here, uh, up to this level, the conductance is gone, decreases, and then after addition of 0.3, after 3.9 ml, that is a 4.2 ml, we observe that conductance is increases. And as we go on next addition, that is a 5.7, then it is observed that the conductance is steadily go on increases up to the 5.557 into 10 raised to minus 3 moles. Now, these are the observations observed from that. Then we have to plot the graph. Now, the graph between the ML of addition of NaOH solution from the burette versus the observed conductance. And it is observed that initially, when we are adding the zero, uh, very small quantity of the NaOH, the conductance is gone decreases up to certain value in the straight line and then at, after this point the conductance is again increases because what happened the OH ions get treated with the hydrogen ion present in the solution and after completion of the reaction then next molecule of the NaOH is added the OH ion remains there and therefore ions are increases and conductance is increases. This point that is extrapolating this point, this is the exact equivalence point of the titration. It is observed that 3.9 ml is the equivalence point of the uh, titration. From the value, uh, equivalence point of, uh, from the graph, then N1 V1 equal to N2 V2. From this value, we can calculate the normality of the HCl. And it is observed that uh, 20 ml of acid is taken and uh, 3.9 ml of acid is required for 0.5 normal solution and therefore normality of acid is 0.098 normal. Now this is the experiment where we can find out exact normality of the uh, acid or base. Even that this can be applied for weak acid, weak base titration, weak acid, strong base, strong uh, acid, weak base. In this way, we can use this titrometric method to determine the exact equivalence point of the titration. Okay, thank you. If you like this video, then you can subscribe it on like it. Thank you.